Welcome to What The Fact. My name is Kay Crittenden. I am a documentary family and wedding photographer in Sydney, Australia. And each week I give you all the info that you need to know about family photography so that you can avoid being in the Awkward Family Photos Hall of Fame and get photos that you really, really love. This week's question comes from Doug who asks, what the fuck is a day in the life? A day in the life session is pretty much what it says on the box. A photographer comes to your home and documents your family throughout the day from when you wake up to when you go to bed. Now, I often get people asking, Kate, why would I want someone to photograph me when I'm in my pajamas and I haven't even brushed my teeth yet? Now, I personally love day in the life sessions because it's a much longer form of photography, like 12 hours. It gives the photographer a bit more time to make really great art and to notice all the little quirks and idiosyncrasies of your family. So the fact that your youngest sticks their tongue out when they're concentrating and that everyone else in your family does that too. So how do they work? The most important thing for me to start with, apart from the photography, is building relationships so that everybody is as comfortable as they can be, even if you're a little camera shy. And that starts with a Zoom so that I can say hi to the kids and go over the most important points. The biggest one is that I'm not gonna be standing in the corner silently taking pictures because that makes me the weird camera lady and that's something I'm trying to avoid. I'm gonna be laughing and talking and engaging as much as I am gonna be taking photos. I'm gonna be right up in your faces, getting close and then closer and take those pictures of those authentic moments. In order to be there up and ready with my camera at 5 a.m. when your toddler starts running around, I sleep over. This is actually really important because I come over for dinner the night before and I just hang out with you all. I don't pick up my camera. We just chat. I get to know what your kids are interested in, what you like doing as a family, and it helps me make better pictures because I'm getting to know you better. The next morning, I start photographing as soon as you wake up all the way through the day. It's just a relaxed day hanging out. If you're going swimming, I'm bringing my swimmers and I'll be in the pool with my camera. The second thing is I will take photos of everything. Bums, tantrums, brushing your teeth into the toilet, picking your nose, everything, unless you close the door. And I will not open any closed doors. And I really think that's important for kids, particularly older kids to understand. So they have that control over what gets photographed and what doesn't. Number three. You do not have to worry about what you're wearing. This is documentary photography. You come as you are. I'm gonna be in my PJs. You're gonna be in your PJs. It's cool. The fourth thing is, it's much easier than you imagine. You don't have to worry about posing or where you're standing. I'm not gonna move you or direct you anywhere. We're just hanging out. That's all it is. After the day in the life, the process is usually a little longer than other genres of photography. For me, every day in the life is like an art project. It can take up to six weeks to do the culling and editing from a day in the life session. There are often between 10 and 15,000 photos to cull. From that, I narrow it down to a full gallery of about 200 and then about 50 artisan edits, which are, in my opinion, the best of the best. And they're the ones that I recommend for printing and for putting on your walls, which is a really important step, regardless of genre, print your dang photos. And that's it. I hope that answers your question about what a day in the life is and how it works. If you have a question you'd like me to answer, click on the link in the description and it'll take you to a submissions page and I'll get to it as soon as I can. If you found this video useful, give me a like, give me a subscribe so I don't feel like I'm just shouting out into the void on YouTube. That's it for this week. My name is Kate Crittenden. See you later.